main thing when I'm competing is I cannot take it like a competition because sometimes if I do and I think about the result, I get stressed and a little bit blocked. So I'm thinking of it as like a show for everybody. So I'm trying to deliver it to the audience, not to the judges so much. Yeah, we're having fun. I think that's yeah. our main goal yeah. for the have competition. Fun. Because when we have fun, like that's where the energy comes from. This is where people actually start, even the people that we don't know, yeah. they start to cheer for us and it's the best feeling. Okay, so I split with my uh, old partner in Canada and I wanted to move to Europe to uh, train with the coaches I have now, Zoran, Tatiana and Alexei. Um, so I just posted my advertisement on Danceboard Info and she emailed me. I emailed, yeah. And you can continue from here. <laughs> I was like, uh, I emailed him because actually, honestly, I was not searching for a partner, you know, but it just somehow happened in this way. And then I messaged him and then I asked, like, uh, I tried to make a bit longer conversation, but actually in four messages, he told me just like, oh, come for the trial, we will see. I was like, oh, okay, that's how it's done? Really? Okay. Yeah, it was, it was. I asked my father <laughs> and then he took me to Slovenia because we met kind of in the middle. Yeah, I was very, I was not messaging a lot or emailing. She would like yeah. send me her heights, the list, her pictures, yeah. everything all like really organized and informed. And I was like, okay, come for a tryout, that's period. It. Literally, <laughs> five words, four emails, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I think our contrast. She's. She has long legs, you know, the Russian elegance, like a real woman, and I'm just funky. I think, you know, I have this like, I guess a more chilled, like I don't care feeling, very easy going. So I think the contrast, even I feel like the style of our dancing, mine is more like wild, hers is more like long, linear, elegance. So I think the contrast makes us special that we're completely different. I think her eyes really attract me, her how she focuses, She's just very beautiful, everything. Thank you. <laughs> I think it's his sense of humor, because just his jokes make all the situation better, even if it's like a little bit tense, and like, since I'm so, <laughs> so strict and organized and everything, sometimes I can get a little bit um, too serious. So when he starts joking, <laughs> it goes all easy, that's it, like no tension Actually, no more. <laughs> there was a funny story. When we first got into the partnership, I was joking a lot, especially like, okay, Zorn is a joker too. And I, I one time I went a little bit over the limit and crying. she started to cry. I felt so bad. I couldn't get a joke that time. Like, yeah, she was like so serious, like, oh my God. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was funny. And then I had to buy her lollipops. <laughs> I remember that, true, true. like a bunch of it. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit of football, okay, soccer. <laughs> Swimming I did a bit. Sports, I think that's about it. But I played like, let's say, piano. I mean, I think all Asians do piano. Me too. All Russians do piano. Yeah, <laughs> and I played this um, Chinese violin called Arhu. So it's like like this, and it has two strings. Super weird, but yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> I did also a little bit of swimming. I actually, generally as a kid, I was super busy. My mom made like the whole week schedule for me. I had like English classes, I had like piano class, swimming, some gymnastic thing for the stretching and flexibility, drawing. I was doing like so much stuff and yeah. I mean, not so many sports besides dancing, but more like on the art side. I th okay, it was for sure my father, because, okay, I really liked football and stuff, but he was always somehow finding a way like, Oh, football, you know, your joints will not be good. You know, you might hurt your leg, da, na, na. So I was like, oh yeah, it's dangerous. So I was like, oh yeah, dancing is safer. Maybe I just stick and slowly, like, he convinced me just to stick with dancing. Yeah, for sure. For me, um, hmm. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> uh, what made me choose dancing? So, okay, I went actually to dance because I liked it. So actually my parents brought me there because they saw that I was dancing in front of the TV all the time when there was some music playing. 
So that was the reason I went there, but also I had the moment when I thought that I will stop dancing because I was doing many things. Uh, as I told you that I was a busy kid and that uh, I didn't have partner for quite a long time. But then like from one point when it actually started and they let me dance with a good guy in my club and everything and everything started to build and I saw how much sacrifice my parents put in this, I knew that it, that's it. That was deep. Yeah, because <laughs> in a way from, I think from like 11 years old, I already knew that it's going to be, this is the thing. I have so much responsibility for it. Like my, my parents do so much for me, I can't let them down. Difficult question. Ooh. I don't know, I've been thinking about it, but it depends. Uh, at the point when I thought that I will not continue dancing because I didn't have partner for too long, um, I was thinking that I'll go to China to learn Chinese. <laughs> 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 I'll meet him there, you never know, yeah? But anyways, that was like my plan because I'm not that bad with, like, with languages. And especially in the part of Russia where I was born, uh, there is a lot of people that are going to Asia to study. So also like maybe Australia was one of the options or something like this. So. That was the thing, but now if I'm thinking about it, probably I would be something connected to finances, <laughs> pretty much because I'm pretty good with this, so I would be like, I don't know what, something like that. <laughs> Ooh, something with education would not be my thing. <laughs> I, uh, because like, let's say when I was dancing, I missed so much school coming to Europe. That's why like, I don't know, like for education wise, what I would be but maybe I'll get into golfing or something because I'm a lazy person, you know? Golfing seems like pretty, pretty maybe chill. Maybe some fashion. Because... Maybe fashion. I like, I'm really into sneakers. Like, I mean, I love shoes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not really sure. I never thought about it. Like, I was always like, dancing is my thing. In Latin, for me, it's changing between cha-cha, samba, and jive. Depends on the mood on the song, yeah. Ballroom, sorry, standard, for sure Foxtrot. Always will be Foxtrot. I yeah. yeah. I feel like Foxtrot has this Latinish vibe, kind of. Like, I can then swing to it, you know, there's like, the music is good. So, for sure, Foxtrot, yeah. Same for me, I think, I'm pretty... Not a Roomba fan? Um, no, I do like Roomba, of course, <laughs> but uh, I think for the music, for the beats, I like Cha Cha and Samba the most. For me, what I really like to do is find new steps, coordinations, copy people's steps. So for me, like let's say past champions, like let's say like past legends, Slavic, Ryan, Malatovsky, I'm watching like YouTube videos of them insanely, like every night almost. Surkov, like old legends, not old legends. The earlier generation, the previous generation, yeah. So for me, they're crazy, still. Yeah. Uh, for me, I find inspiration sometimes also in the music. Uh, because if like I really, really like the song, but I think we're on the same vibe yeah. in this. Because if like the song is there, like we can just explore it together and like the dance becomes completely different. Yeah, yeah. It's much more interesting to dance even though you don't change the steps. But as a dancer, so I also agree with him because um, I look up to Yulia Zagaruchinka, I like um, Joanna Lunis, Andra, like actually a lot Just of like girls. Just like a lot of people. A lot of girls. Yeah. So like it depends because we are watching different dancers for a different reason, yeah. you know? Some they all have their have like special. Great energy, somebody is super sophisticated. Body movements, like, yeah. you know. It's very different, but I need, before the competition, this is what I'm planning to do today. I'm yeah. gonna watch a lot of videos and I like to change choreographies too a lot I mean a little bit too much sometimes <laughs> yeah sorry Tatiana <laughs> um, R&B and hip-hop hands down yeah because that's the only music in the car <laughs> <laughs> yeah R&B like old-school hip-hop more yeah Depends. sometimes I like some Russian uh, songs that bring me some memories from the childhood or something like this but... Okay, for the neutral ones, obviously black, white, and gray, but as a color blue, like dark blue, like navy. Yeah. Same. Dark blue. Hmm, the 
vehicle. Maybe I would buy a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Really okay. Have no idea. Man, that, you stepped into the next level. <laughs> Mine would probably be telepathy, so I can read people's minds. Really? Yeah, I want to do that. Teleport? Mm, not really, because... I mean, I like to travel. Travel on plane, it's pretty relaxing. It's like a day off, I do nothing. No, I would probably take that te yeah, teleporting. Actually, I would do uh, drain taking people's energy. Because WDSF sometimes play really long music. <laughs> so... Taking people's energy will never make me tired. You know, that's a really good one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Gaga. I don't know. Uh, I've never thought of her as like someone great or amazing that, not in a way, uh, it's a w wrong word. I would never think that she could inspire me. But actually after I watched the movie with her, and I started to read a little bit about her and actually what her life was like and what she went through and I find, find her an amazing woman and yeah, she's amazing. <laughs> I would pick, um, this would be funny, I think, Mr. Chow from Hangover. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good choice. Oh. Zorn would love this. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eye. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't sing. I'm not a singer. <laughs> dancer, dancer. Yeah, what is the name? Uh, you're just too good to be true, no? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. It's like, this is, it's this for is us. Song. It's not like something. Okay, it's describing more like something more personal. Yeah, so. Here's a little song I want. You might want to sing it. Not both, don't worry. He is actually special in creating. For me, he's very artistic and like when it comes down to dancing and creating a choreography, it's like this guy has like a full dictionary in front of him of the moves and everything. So this <laughs> like I admire. Ooh. Yeah, mess. Because uh, let's say for me, I like to be organized in like how I pack, you know, it's like my things. I, I have like a maybe even a problem because I organize my clothes by color, by the fit of it. So if it's something like disorganized, I just feel uncomfortable and it kind of gets me angry. <laughs> for me, I would say that if a person is not respectful to me, I think that's like. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, I'm not so sensitive until a certain point, but if the person goes over, it's, I can get very, very angry. Very Russian way, you know. <laughs> you don't want to see a Russian woman angry. <laughs> oh, everything. Him. He's making me laugh. Everything. I don't know. I'm just... I cannot think of something like that I get angry because like let's say yeah I do get angry but like it goes away in like five minutes I feel okay after it's not like I keep it in so it's like some little stupid stuff but like to make me laugh anything <laughs> it's easy <laughs> big yes <laughs> I was thinking that too you know I think big he likes to eat um Okay, just somehow he's a clean pig. Clean pig. Because he is super organized, like. Um, because pig has fun in the in the mud. Yeah. And then they go sleep. They eat. Yeah. It's nice and simple, you know. Yeah, just big, I think. Maybe I would say some sort of cat, because like she can be very loving and like come to you, but like when she can get like aggressive, she will be like, Arr! you know. <laughs> but actually, I'm a mouse. Okay, by the zodiac sign. 